Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem? Here, we can write this as 2 raised to power x plus 2 square, then raised to power x, then plus 2p, then raised to power x equals to 14. And uh, from here, on the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m raised to power m, this can be written as a raised to power mn, which is the same thing as a raised to power n into bracket then raised to power m. So which means we can interchange the power here, and then from here this will become two raised to power x plus two raised to power x then raised to power 2 plus 2 raised to power x then raised to power 3 equals to 14 and the next step we have 2 raised to power x common so let's use a letter to represent that so let's t be equals to 2 raised to power x then this equation will become t plus t squared then plus t cube equals to 14. And the next step we can rearrange and bring 14 to this side as well. Then this becomes t raised to power 3 plus t square plus t then minus 14 equals to 0. Then from here we have a cubic equation. We can get one of the roots of this polynomial by expressing with the factor of 14. So when we put t equals to 1, so with this equation be 0 from here, so this will still be 1, q will still be 1 plus 1 squared as 1 plus 1 minus 14, and this is equals to minus 11, which is not equal to 0. That means 1 is not a root of this polynomial. Now let's look at 2. So here we have 2 cube, that's 8, plus 2 square, that's 4, plus 2, then minus 14. And here, this is same thing as 12 plus 2, that's 14 minus 14, this is 0. So it implies that 2 is a root, and therefore t minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial to get the other factor of the polynomial which will be a quadratic you know factor we can use division by synthetic here we now divide by 2 so from here we write the coefficient of this polynomial half we have 1 1 then 1 the constant minus 14 then when we divide 2 by 2 from here, from the method of synthetic, we drop this one first. Then 2 times 1, that's 2. We write it here. Then we sum this, that's 3. Also 2 times 3, that's 6. We sum this, we write it here. Also 2 times 7, that's 14. We sum this, and that is 0. It confirms that the 2 is a root. So the coefficient of the quadratic equation we should have here now will be 1, 3, then 7. So this will be t squared, then plus 3t, then plus 7, will then be equal to 0. So therefore, we have the polynomial factorized that way. So from that place now, which is t minus 2 multiplied by t squared plus 3t plus 7 equals to 0. Here we have two possible cases. We have t minus 2 equals to 0. Or we have t squared plus 3t plus 7 equals to 0.
plus 7 equals to 0. Then here we have t to be equals to 2 from here. Then on this side, we solve this quadratic equation. We can use the quadratic formula. From here, we have the formula t equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And uh, in this case, a is equal to 1, coefficient of t square, b equals to 3, coefficient of t, and c equals to 7. And this formula becomes t equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4a, that's 1, then c, 7, over 2 times 1. And when we solve from here, this gives us 3 equals to minus, t equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus. Here we have 7 times 3, and that is 28. From there, so we have 28, then over 2. So this is t equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 28, that's minus 19 over 2. And the here, root minus 1 is i. So we can say t equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 19i over 2. So we have this as a complex number here. Now from here first, we have t. Now recall that we represented t as 2 raised to power x. So here we say 2 raised to power x now, which is g, equals to 2. And here can be 2, 2 raised to power 1 now. So the base are equal, we now say x equals to 1 from here. So we have a real solution on this side. Then on this side, we have t, which is 2 raised to power x now, is then equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 19 high over 2. Now from here, we can take the log on both sides. And this will be log 2 raised to power x equals to log into bracket minus 3 plus or minus root 19 high over 2. Then the power law of log reading we take x to the back here, and this becomes x log 2 equals to log into bracket minus 3 plus or minus root 19 high over 2. And uh, we divide both sides by log 2 from here. When we divide both sides by log 2, log 2 we cancel log 2 here. Then this side will remain x which is then equals to, from here, using change of base, so this becomes log into bracket minus 3 plus or minus root 19i over 2, then it will be to base 2. So here we have another solution which is complex one, so we have two of them because of this plus or minus. And this is the end of this problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. See you in the next class. Bye for now.